Uh, how it's going today is 17 of February, Sunday, uh, Saturday. <laughs> and we are taking a look at the uh, market, what kind of opportunities are available up there. Uh, let's take a look at the next pr uh, pr uh, press release. Right, that's a bit back to work boost as a quarter of a million workplace training places delivered. Let's try to understand that this press release and something else has been outlined with the new care. More than a quarter of a million workplace training places for benefit claimants have been delivered in just three years. Now, data reveals, right, right, right. So, pot potentially, uh, I would rephrase it, right? So, there's something that was published yesterday. So, potentially, it's something that used to cost a lot of money, right? Now, can potentially earn money, right? For local councils, right? Uh, which is kind of great uh, that they are launching different initiatives. Something that I have highlighted previously, right? Some of those initiatives, uh, even in places like Bristol, it was called a uh, kickstart, right? Where people not necessarily have enough experience and or expertise within different areas. And uh, job centers and all local councils will put together different initiatives when it comes to increasing workforce, right? As well as uh, something I have highlighted previously. Uh, as of now, I don't think this uh, option is available, right? So we have remote work, fully remote work. As of now, it's not available within UK. It uh, would be very centric, so to say, uh, very uh, location-based, right? So uh, not to say if I'm looking to uh, find professional, right? I would need to jump over uh, better like location set of I uh, think I look at perhaps uh, nationwide within the UK looking for those professionals. So some of those initiatives that I'm discussing right now, even those perhaps that would help increase numbers of people, right? I just that I was discussing and uh, uh, some of the people who have taken part in organizing different initiatives and hiring people and all that, right? And they would say if a person haven't did anything for a long time, it might find their heart get back into the group of uh, waking up in the morning, sitting in a car, driving, all that uh, things, right? So I'm just saying, right? So the, hopefully we're gonna see more initiatives so and increasing those numbers, right? Uh, it's always gonna be high, right? 266,000 workplace training places delivered boosting skills and long-term economic growth. Target hit early as more than 8,000 job seekers start already this year <laughs> okay 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 uh, i don't know about this uh data <laughs> uh, I, I don't know about this part but either way let's progress <laughs> i would i would like to challenge this number but either way program tackle skills shortages in the key sectors as 2.5 billion back to work plan expense employment support for over a million of people right right so the, let's try to understand this sentence is going to be within the article and uh, i think then uh, economy is slowing down <laughs> i don't know what they're referring to uh, some of the concepts uh, trigger warning right some of the concepts uh, might be uh, double speak within this article, so we need to be careful in reading some of this information right, when it comes to double speak. Uh, the latest figures show that in the last financial year, 81,000, uh, the solo 81,000 places were delivered, uh, smashing the 8,000 target. Okay, <laughs> which is great. Uh, two months ahead of schedule. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It brings the total number since the sector based work academia programs, something that's called uh, swaps, was set up to uh, six, uh, <laughs> 266,000, right? As part of the government's long term plan for growth, the programs give job seekers a unique work opportunity with six weeks of the on job training and experience before guaranteeing interviews, helping them prepare for the more into work okay uh, all this initiatives or whatever they're doing is great uh, by the way <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm trying to be the report of what you're doing <laughs> there has been uh, 266,000 and just all of that starts at swap since 2021 with 81,000 in the latest financial year 
smashing a uh, dog, okay, repeating that, unlike traditional work experience. So also often backed by employees looking to fill uh, active vacancies, business help across these programs, uh, so that the participants gain the skills and expertise right for their role. So what's the problem with discussing the onboarding? That's a problem. So then people need to go online, right? So something can take up to six months. Then we're looking to reduce that, and uh, that cost uh, usually would be subsidized by a business owner. So perhaps is that's an issue that they're discussing here. Some of the most popular places where sectors with the highest number of vacancies include uh, 36,000 in construction, okay, uh, 25 in security, uh, 21 in hospitality, and 19 in logistics, okay, okay. Okay, so what is, uh, there's so many things are missing, engineering, perhaps programming, legal, accounting, so many different areas are missing, but either way. From coding to match day, stewarding, becoming a fitness instructor, or leading uh, to mix cocktails in the hospitality. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but this is uh, perhaps experience. I don't know about uh, job perspectives, it's something that they are mentioning, right? Uh, so let's take a look at coding, right? Can software do it better? Even this morning I was taking a look. <laughs> Perhaps it was on the rise, right? Ever was this uh, area has been addressed, right? But uh, they still need someone to oversee the code, so perhaps that's where coding professionals will come in. Uh, fitness instructor, right? <laughs> Government keeps shutting down gyms, right? <laughs> I don't know too much about this industry, right? Let's forget. Uh, cocktails mixing and all that, hospitality, and, uh, I don't know. It would be something that's considered 40 hours, <laughs> or it would be considered a uh, side on something that you can do on top of uh, other commitments, right? Uh, so this is uh, this is the promotion that we put together with, you know, with uh, yeah, of course, it's uh, backed by big industry names as a field to job skills of an age, background, and more experience out there uh, from 20 to 24 year olds made the most of the start of swaps in an age of groups of uh, 40,000, 700, well, 38,000. Uh, so with that start so has been made by workers over 50, it's provided particular experience with kickstart professional careers in an age. London saw so the highest stakes of the, the, yeah, just based on the location, right, density, how many people are living there, following the southeast region with the, okay, okay. Let's call the cost by Northwest with uh, uh, 20, over 28,000. Uh, yourself, if you're interested in uh, some of those opportunities, and even uh, within this video, we're taking a look at fitness industry, it's something uh, you might be considering uh, doing. Uh, well, I'm sharing a lot of information how you can begin and progress uh, within this industry after the project fits well. Uh, within this book, I'm sharing a lot of information when and how to begin, how to start, how to progress, right? And uh, from early level and or beginner level, progressing into professional level, I'm sharing a lot of information what you would need to know. If it's something I tell you looking at, or be interested in pursuing, perhaps. Would be important, if anything, if not professional, perhaps uh, just uh, main maintenance, right? And having your body uh, <laughs> not falling apart, right? Uh, I'm sharing a lot of information on this book. It's something I'm self interested in. There's going to be a QR code in the corner company subscribe below. Even though I was taking a look and I was speaking to uh, some employers, right, from the job center, some that I was uh, taking a look at this week, and I share some information, right, and I asked for incentives for businesses. Even the, they did, they have told me about Kickstarter program, but they haven't told me about small programs. So there's different government initiatives, right? And they, that could potentially be another way. Six weeks, not necessary, but that would be just an example, right? Uh, additional information. Swaps so provide job seekers with six weeks pre employment training, vocational training run by a local college on training providers, work experience with employer, or job interviews with employers in the sectors and of the program. I think I was thinking like a barista's training, so perhaps that is just an example. Swaps are available for job seekers claiming, oh, okay, so there's additional, additional support there. Swaps are backed by some of the biggest business industry representatives, including, okay, there's uh, some projects there. Swaps are free with uh, claimants continuing to receive. Uh, I think if you would reach out to your local support, the job seekers, something, 
they will be able to advise <laughs> all this information, right? Uh, it might be some other factors based on your age, uh, your uh, expertise, uh, different ways of engaging with different industries, right? Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.